Hey everybody, I'm a little bit early. Just a tad. So I'm trying to get the angle right of my camera. Um, I know you guys don't really care if you can see me. I want to make sure that you can see the project. So uh, I've been playing around with that a little bit. Uh, trying to figure that out. So let's see. Um, Always forget to turn the TV down. So when I watch videos or other people's lives, I turn the TV up. Well, it says I'm live, but I don't see it. Mm -hmm. Well, let's go out and come back in. I can't find it. That's never happened to me before. Oh, there it is. It's on my regular page. Let's see if I can pull it up on my page. Hey, everybody. Thanks for joining me. I'm normally not on early in the morning. There I am. All right. Found me. So, um, just... I'm trying to get like multitasking. Has anybody good at multitasking? Because I am not good at multitasking. Hi, dear. Thanks for joining. So, um, I have to mail out the winner stuff. And I did figure out what I was going to give the second or the third winner, but I didn't pull it together. I was going to do that and I forgot. So, anyway, so let's get started on, um, on this adorable little uh i haven't checked the emails yet um linda but um i did send it out so if you reply to it i will get it and i'll check on that hi tess from florida how is the weather there so um if you wouldn't mind spreading the love sprinkle it whatever the terminology is you know that facebook doesn't like us to say um so uh Maybe someone else that, that um, you, friends of yours would like to see what I make. Uh, so anyway, so I got this thing, this little witch, last year on clearance from Joanne's, I do believe. And I think she's cute. Oh, I know. I love that spider. You know that spider's still available, right? That's the crazy thing, isn't it? Like, it is so cute. I have, I got it back out, and uh, it's hanging up in my living room, and I'm like, I just keep looking at it, and I'm like, that is so cute. How come that's still in my shop? You know? Um, so anyway, it's going to decorate my house until, until it sells. Oh, very, very hot. It's very humid here. Um, I asked Alexa. Crap. Uh, should probably go off, but I asked Alexa what the uh, humidity was, and it is 83% humidity here today. So that could be why I feel like crud. It's pouring rain where you are, and you're up in like New Jersey, right, Sue? New Jersey, and you're getting ready to move to Florida. I'm so jealous of that. Good morning, Joanne. Hi, Peggy. Humid in Jacksonville, Florida. Yeah, Joanne. So I went out and I prepped this sign. Um, I thought that that might uh, go well. I'm, I just don't know if I don't want to sign on with this um, wreath. But I may make something with the Cricut for that as well if this is too big. But these are the ribbons that I picked out. I didn't want all purple. You know, there's purple in the ribbon. So I wanted to pull out some other colors. So, um, you know, green, purple. Um, can't go wrong with green, purple, and black, can ya? Yeah, I just haven't felt that good this morning, but, um, I'm working through it because I'm not going to let it get to me. Um, we'll see how things go, but I'll, I'll do this one and then I'll take a break and then I've got, like, so many things. Last night I talked to you guys about this, a little half of a, um, yardstick here that I had for last year. And I went ahead and I just put some mesh on it. I'm trying to figure out what kind of like curls that I would put in here or ruffles. 
but I really like the way this turned out but this is just gonna be like a centerpiece for um for Halloween I got some skulls I'm going to beat your dog dear um, the mailman must be coming. Why was I thinking that I should go live at 10 o'clock in the morning? Uh, the mailman's not been coming until 11 all week long, and today the mailman's going to be here today. So sorry about the dog barking. So, but you know, he wants to let everybody know that the mailman is here. So, so anyway, so let's get started. We're going to use the mesh that I got from um, the base that I got from uh, Paper Mart. So this is called. Uh, black deco mesh laser eyelash roll and it's got some gold in it I figured it wasn't gonna be a big deal because I figured it's not gonna be um, seen but I'm like eh, it'll be fine it'll be fine oh four so I'm gonna take this and scrunch it Maybe the mailman's bringing me a lot of stuff. That's why he's going crazy. I'm expecting some, um, you know, Amazon, but they usually, they don't deliver by the mail. They usually come by a truck, right, Amazon? So I don't think I'm expecting any other uh, stuff in the mail, per se. I think everything else is from Amazon. So... Thanks you, Marina. Um, better and not, you know. I mean, it's just, I think it's allergies, sinus, I don't know. Um, so. So now he's going to come down here in case I didn't hear him barking up there. You quit your barking. Yeah, you were bad barking at the mailman. How come? Huh? Go lay down over there with your sister. <laughs> All right, so 10 inch poofs. make something Halloween but I have an adorable bee and an adorable flamingo to make sometime today so I will um, I'm, I'm definitely coming on at least one more time um, I do need to get some Pinterest things done I'm trying to figure out does anybody know anything about Pinterest oh you have reverse brindle oh my husband <laughs> yep, that's what we have yep huh you're rotten aren't you you're a big old baby Yes, you are. Yes. <laughs> right. And Lucy says, you're not paying attention to me and nobody can see her. Okay. Oh. All right, I, I caused a mess. All right, go lay down. Go on. Your dad should take in you. Um. Oh, man, yes. He's protecting me. Yeah. From the email, from the mailman, I guess. I, he, you know what? He his bark is way worse. I mean, he's never bitten anybody, but you know, like he'll bark and people will be afraid, you know. Um, and um, then as soon as they're like, uh, just talk to us for a minute, he runs. I mean, immediately he runs to get his rope. I'm like, yeah, somebody could rob us, and you no, know, as long as they play with him for a few minutes, he's good. <laughs> he has a rope. He wants to be played with with his rope. He runs and it's like, oh good, company's here. They're here to play with me, I'm sure. <laughs> and even strangers, he does that. He is adorable. And so is Lucy. You just can't see her. She's the miniature. Uh, she's a wiener dog. But I tell you what, here lately, I guess they can, I don't know if they sense that I don't feel well because normally Thor is not down here, but he has been at my feet for the last couple of days and Lucy has like followed me all over the house. I'm just like that. It's just they just don't they're not normally those type of dogs, but this past week 
They're like right at my feet. Lucy followed me from the bedroom to the bathroom to the bedroom to the bathroom today. And I'm like, okay. And then she will stand there and wait for me. She's like, okay, when are you leaving this room? Because where are we going next? I was just, <laughs> it's very strange today. <laughs> and uh, and then last night I was, I wasn't down here real late um, compared to some nights, but um, after we got off the live, I was just, you know, finishing preparing some things and um, they were both laying on the love seat over there. And literally I had to like, okay, Thor, we're going upstairs now. <laughs> so it was crazy. Um, so I have been working on Pinterest and what I have, I have to do some uh, looking through some of my training. I don't know what sections are on Pinterest. I know we have different boards. Yes, she, yes, absolutely. She is, she's cleaning him now. Yes, they are very, uh, very lovey. Yep. <laughs> yeah, they will lick, yeah. Well, Thor doesn't, is not a licker. Lucy is the licker. Lucy's the licker. They have a bed down here. They have a dog bed that has two blankets laying on it, and then they also lay on the love seat. I don't know, do I have stuff? No, I don't have stuff. Lucy just topped up on the love seat over there. Yeah, I, I mean, I like it. I don't know if we'll ever. Some days it's like if we want to go somewhere, it is. Uh, I guess um, worrisome like who's gonna watch the dogs and make sure they're taken out and things like that and you know you sometimes relying on friends and family you know is really hard so that's the cumbersome part but I tell you when I'm home by myself their company I don't you know even if I'm down here I'm talking to them or they're following me around you know I mean um, I don't know what I would do without an animal to be honest so We've always had animals, and very rarely do we ever just have one. We usually always have two. So he just laid down here by my feet, so I have to remember he's there, because otherwise I'll fall over him. <laughs> so, and then he has that big sigh. Yeah, it's a big old sigh, like his life is just so rough, you know. <laughs> so, yeah, they are good, good dogs. I can't complain, really, I can't. Um, We've been doing more about because we do kennel them a, a lot like um, not as much through the night usually but um, if we can't get any sleep then sometimes I do um, but I've been leaving them out like whenever I go to work for if I'm not gonna be gone all day just kind of see how they do but it's like sometimes I feel like they're in cahoots so like there will be like a envelope or something on the table and I'm like that envelope has been there for days and I come home and somehow it got on the floor and the next thing I know somebody's got it so it's like I feel like Lucy can't get it so Lucy's like Thor you get it and I'll chew it up you know I don't know so it's funny but <laughs> I just really have to watch all of the things that are around like how far they are can they jump on a chair and get it I don't see an Antoinette, but hi Antoinette. Hey Brenda, thanks for joining. If you wouldn't mind sprinkling the love, I greatly appreciate it. Oh, I guess I need, hey guys, there's a King Sumo going on too. Uh, for uh, two more giveaways, um, I'm giving away a witch like that we're making today. It's orange, and then I'm giving away some signs. And I think that, that King Sumo is gonna run for a couple of weeks. And basically, all you're going to be doing is, it's watching my YouTube videos, so. So, anyway, I was looking through my Halloween stuff, and I realized that I have hardly any cute Halloween signs. I'm like, how is that even possible that I have no signs? I have a ton of, like, everyday stuff. Thank you so much, lady, I appreciate that. Um, I have so many everyday things but I have no time to make every day. Do you guys feel the same way that you have no time to make the every day because you're so busy making this, the holiday? Like I made so many patriotic and now it's time to start on fall or hi Denise or Halloween or Christmas. I've got two Christmas things ready to do. Um, 
I may, I like to, I, I don't have everything ready. I've got them all gathered. Um, so I'm probably going to save them because I want to do a Christmas in July. From Louisiana. Thank you, Susanna. I appreciate that. All right, Brenda, I'll be checking them out. I will be checking them out. So I did get one fall sign from Lori, hardworking mom. And Lori, uh, Brenda, go ahead and uh, Brenda is from, um, I always get it backwards. Is it Reese by Custom Cre Busy? Custom Creations, my busy bees. I don't know. Put your business name in there, silly, for your wreath signs um, in the in the comments. Brenda's got signs. I get stuff from Grammy's Craft Boutique. I get signs from Hardworking Mom. Robin's Wreathery. Who else have I gotten? Doodlebug Lane wreath signs. But I always get your stuff. Busy bees, custom creations. I know those words. I just don't put them in the right order. I know it's busy bees. And then I know it's custom creations, but I didn't know if it's custom creations first or busy bees. I'll remember. I'll, I keep telling myself, how can you not remember that? But I have this cute bee sign that I'm going to make today. So Brenda makes signs. Um, I'm actually going to be taking a class from Lori. Um, Lori and Rachel and Mel, and they're going to be teaching us um, how to do sublimation, which I don't have a machine. I'm really more interested in the Cricut right now. Once I learn that then um, and build up some things and that maybe I will transfer into the sublimation, I don't know. But I have a Cricut right now that I am not utilizing to its fullest potential. So that's my next thing. So thanks everybody for joining. I so appreciate it. Um, I use zip ties to uh, hold my uh, mesh down from one layer to the other as well. I'm so sorry about the dog. The mailman must be here again. I don't know, he has his little mail truck. I cannot remember when, uh, when I was a kid, the mailman, maybe they did park a truck, but our mail people do not walk very far. They drive the truck, they deliver to like two or three houses, and they get in the truck and they drive it some more. I'm like, I know, uh, I had a friend that was a mail person and when I was a kid, kid, like in grade school, and I walked the mail route with them one day, and we walked for a long time, and then like they would, um, he would have to go to the mailboxes that were on the corners, and that's where they would have dropped off mail for the next section. So, oh yeah, Brenda, how, how did things go with your, you're really swollen, oh my. Well, praying for you, do you, um, hopefully once the swelling goes down, you'll feel some comfort. How was the procedure, was it, everything go pretty well as far as COVID stuff, no issues there? I saw you with your mask on in a picture. I haven't felt all that great either. I think I do think it is the weather, possibly. I'm praying it's the weather. All right, so I put that before this tie, but I'm not using this tie until we come back around. Well, that's good. Oh my goodness, I'm so sorry. So very sorry. Hopefully the mail person will go away soon. I said I'm not expecting any other packages. Everything's come in so that I have ordered except from Amazon. So you have a cricket too? Oh good, good. I can't wait to utilize that. I just really want to like because like even with this witch, like I don't need that great big sign, but the other signs that I have are really small, so I don't know, you know. So, I mean, we may, we'll, we'll have it put together today, but whether the sign will be on it, I don't know. Thank you. This is from Paper Mart. This mesh is from Paper Mart. This is called the eyelash mesh, and it's really very good quality if you ask me. I don't think I paid very much for it. Um, but yeah, I got an order from Paper Mart, and I got some of their mesh. But yeah, this would be a good Christmas if you wanted to do um, gold and black for Christmas. You have two? You rarely use them? He 
you got sucked into embroidery. Uh, well, that's good. That's good. Uh, this is only my second order from Paper Mart as well. I ordered ribbon uh, the first time. Um, and then um, this time I ordered ribbon and mesh. So just because um, Rachel from Rachel's Crafty Corner, she said that, um, I get signs from her too, by the way. She said that she bought mesh from there when she would do a um, wreath party, a wreath class. And that it was, you know, that she felt it was good quality and it inexpensive. So I'm like, okay. So, and I just never did um, find anything. The one thing about that is they don't have free shipping. Um, but the one thing I did sign up for, which is weird, <laughs> is the, was it Radican or whatever? They, they advertise that on television where you get paid for shopping. So it prompted me to sign up for that whenever I bought from there. So I did, I had a, a check in the mail from there for a dollar nineteen. <laughs> so it was kind of funny. I'm blurry. Anybody else having blurry issues? Maybe you need to go out and come back in. Um, I'm doing about uh, between ten and eleven for the inner row. So is anybody else crafting today? I don't think it's going to be a day that I can get out into the pool. It's supposed to rain here later, so. Okay, good. Thank you, Brenda. Clear on your end. Thank you, Sheena. How are you today? Not blurry? Great. You finished up a unicorn. Somebody asked me to make one of those. I, I referred them to somebody, you know, to, to find someone else. Because I just, I just have so many other projects. I don't want to learn how to make a new project right now. I want to learn how to do the Unique in the Creek boards. I've been watching Lori. Uh, so I could do a, a Daisy or something like that. My I have a daughter-in-law and a friend that both have doors. Uh, you know the screen door and they really want something on their door that's not getting smashed so I am going to work on that that's my project but um, learning how to do another like unicorn thing I don't know I don't think so <laughs> oh good good deal Joanne So I do custom stuff too. Sometimes it makes me nervous. Clear on your end. Thank you, Paula. All right, so we're back to the front. So uh, don't forget to uh, request to join uh, cr uh, Create with Addiction RN. Um, that is a free group. That's where you guys, anybody that does lives can share your lives there. You can also share, um, share your pictures of the things that you made. The only thing I request is that you don't put prices or sell or put your Etsy link in there. It's not to promote sales. It's just to, to share our wins and help people with other ideas and things like that. You're gonna go, all right, get some rest, Brenda. Thanks for hopping on and, and blessing my page. I appreciate it. All right, Sheena, have a good day. Hope your mom has a happy birthday. All right, I'm gonna use one more um, zip tie here. And um, zip tie it to the rail below so it's not sticking out the front. Thanks, Sheena. I'm glad you hopped on, Brenda. We'll be praying for you. Um, hopefully you'll feel good and we'll see you tomorrow on the Zoom calls. 
we do have to support one another, Sue. You're so right. And you know, um, and this is very true. We support each other on more than just crafting. We're moral support when things are going rough you know, in our personal life because that affects our businesses and we're all trying to make our businesses grow. And sometimes you just need some friends to say, we're here for you. May not always have the answers for you because, you know, it's hard to, to but we're here. We're here to give you advice. We're here just for you to vent, to talk. We're here. That's what we're here for, right? There's Antoinette. All right, so there's that. I still have mesh to make something else with. So look at that. That's This is from Paper Mart. This mesh is from Paper Mart. It's called Eyelash Mesh. I really, I think that is a good, that's a good deal. I don't know where my paper is. I would look it up to see uh, how much it costs. I should have done that, but yeah, this is, like I said, you don't get free shipping, but you do get, um, you get rewards basically and cash back. So, so anyway, so it looks good. All right. So then, um, I cut this purple and I think I cut it. I don't know. I don't remember now. Let me figure it out. 20 or 22. Yeah. I think it's 20. Yes, I cut it at 20. So, um, let's see what we're gonna do with this. This one looks good in so many different forms because it's the thick metallic. Let's see. I think I like this better. So we only put this in the long ties. Three seventy nine a row. That's a good deal. Thank you, jo Jeanette. I appreciate you looking for that. So isn't that cute? And I got that in several colors, several. All right, so I never have enough room. I need like a countertop, like an eight foot countertop. <laughs> hey, Linda, how are you? Good morning. So I'm just rolling the edges a couple of times and then I'm ruffling it. I need to get stuff ready. I got a pig from Kathy, but I think um, I got some ideas to hopefully like add something to that uh, design for my, for my, for what I'm gonna add to the wreath. So, I have to gather some things first. Caddy, I got that from Michaels. Thanks, Lisa. Hi, Wanda. Thanks for joining. 
I am running a King Sumo drawing, so if you are not already uh, subscribed to my YouTube channel, please check out the King Sumo uh, drawing. It uh, should be already on my Facebook. I think it's actually on because, you know, Facebook doesn't like, they're the jealous boyfriend, so they don't like YouTube. So I do think you have to go to my personal page to see it. And it is Teresa Wentler, W-E-N-T-L-E-R is my last name. Um, you should be able to get to my homepage, I think, from this. I'm not sure, but um, I know the King Sumo is on my personal page. I'm trying not to decrease the reach from, um, yes, you'll re-enter again. Even though you're already subscribed, I didn't think it asked you to subscribe to YouTube this time. Um, I don't think I put that in there. Um, if it does, just... When you go to the link, it doesn't matter. It will still subscribe. It'll still enter you. So, and then you'll watch some videos. Yes. Nobody is excluded. So, um, whenever you hit the thing and it says unsubscribe, you just say no. You know, um, that you don't want to unsubscribe. So, it's fine. It's not like, it doesn't track it that well. This almost looks blue, but it's definitely purple. You're not late, Ashley. Thanks for joining. So, like I said, new King Sumo out there. So, please take a moment. And, and if you have first time to my page, if you would hit the bell icon, I greatly appreciate it. That way you'll get notified when I go live. I guess there's not too many people live today. I don't know. Um, so I appreciate everybody here. Thank you so much for spending your Saturday morning with me. I forgot to take my phone off of vibrate from last night, just in case. My husband's out today, out and about. I don't know if he's still watching. Probably not. Paper Mart, yes. Oh, the foil mess. Uh, it uh, it really doesn't change color. It's um, it's all purple. It just depends on how the light hits it, I guess. Hi, Mom Maria. No, the purple I got from probably Deco Exchange or Craft Outlet. It's just the um, base mesh I got from Paper Mart. I don't think I got any 10 inch mesh from them. All right, so there's the outside row. Yes, you do. You're absolutely right, Sheena. You do have to check your emails and hit confirm in order to be added to the giveaway. Yes, you do. How many ruffles? I've got 12 ruffles here and they're cut at 20 inches long. Hi, Lori. Thanks for joining. Hi, Carol. 
Thank you. I'd greatly appreciate it if you would bless my page. Bless it to a group, if you're a member of a group that allows that. If anybody's a member to the uh, Everyday uh, Lori's Hardworking Mom page, if you could share it to there, I would greatly appreciate it if it hasn't already been shared. Thank you. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. You guys are awesome. So I once we get done with this, I'll show you um, the other two items that I have ready to go. So they're more um, everyday things. So I have the stuff ready for the, or the like stuff pulled out for the Christmas. I can show you that, but I don't have anything cut or ready to go and I think since we're so close to July I'm probably going to wait to do like a big Christmas in July uh, lives. Thank you. You guys are awesome. So and I'll show you the giveaways for the King Sumo. It should be show, it should show you a picture um, in there of what we're giving away. So I love giveaways, don't you guys? I'm one of those people though, I could sign up a million times and just not win. I'm not a lucky person like that to win like drawings and giveaways and just not lucky like that. But that's okay. I wanted to sign up for, and I didn't see hers anymore, but um, Michelle was given away an Archon mount, I thought, but I never did figure out where that drawing is at, so I was looking for that. Thank you. It is fun. Black and purple for Halloween. Can't miss that, can we? Halloween's fun. I don't know. You know, I just don't know if that there's a holiday that I don't like to um, to make. I can't really say which one's my very favorite favorite. I do love a lot of patriotic though. So, and there will be a new uh, new video loaded. It's not even been on Facebook on July the third on YouTube of a wreath that I I did a video on yesterday. So it will be on Facebook or YouTube on July the 3rd at 8 o'clock at night. The purple I'm pretty sure I got from Craft Outlet. Or Deco Exchange or Scott, but I'm pretty sure it was Craft Outlet. I should I used to keep all of my Things. That's not it. This one might be it. It's um somebody if you want to pull that number up, that might be it because it was on top. That's in ten. Yeah, it's ten. R E. One, three, four, one, two, three. Hi, Sandy. Wow, yeah, I don't win much either. I'm not one that wins. So. Yeah, I won like, I don't know, long, long, long time ago, a giveaway that when my husband was in this company, I won some stuff there, but that's been over 30 years ago, it feels like, 20 years ago for sure. Like we go to the convention and they do, you know, um, 
door prizes. Yeah, I never went at that. Went to the slumber party for hardworking mom, like at the convention I went to. Didn't win that. Yeah, I don't win. So there we go. Hey Jennifer, how are you? My tails, I do believe I cut these at, these are at 12. Wanda, so go to my personal page, which is Teresa Wentler, and there should be a King Sumo post. And click on the post, and um, it'll tell you what to do. Thank you. I love this ribbon. I got 50 yards of this ribbon, so you're going to see this on a lot of my projects. <laughs> I love that. I love the legs. I love them. Aren't they cute? Oh my gosh, the legs and the hat. You can't go wrong. Halloween's all about witches and goblins, right? But I love witches. Thanks, Sue. I appreciate you coming on. Have a good day. Good morning, thank you. So the, the base mesh is from Paper Mart, Kathleen. So remember I got that order from Paper Mart and I hadn't tried it yet. So thank you, Sheena, you're the best. You ordered the big roll of Witch Legs too, Courtney. Yep, isn't it cute? W E N T L E R. Sheena has it posted. If you see Sheena on there, she has my name posted there. Yes, both of them are two and a half inch. Yes. And this green I actually got from Old Time Pottery. And it was a dollar a roll. And I found three rolls of it. So, and it was three, well, only three yards a roll. But still, three yards, and I did three of them, so it cost three dollars. So, hi Lorna, hi Virginia, how are you guys today? We're making some Halloween. I know we're barely into summer, I know. But crafting, Lorna, you have to start ahead of the season. So, and I'm hoping and praying that Beneld is going to have their fall festival. I'm hoping and praying. So I need to have some Halloween and Christmas stuff in my shop uh, for that. So the next thing I'll probably be making that it's Halloween is probably going to be a mailbox swag because last year, I sold uh, one mailbox swag and then I sold another one on my Etsy store. So, somebody asked, um, yeah, no more squeaking. <laughs> I know, isn't that nice? Yes. I'm actually, uh, I don't know if I'll, it depends on how things go today, but I'm going to possibly move some things around and uh, I don't know, I might try an actual table here. I have a table that's folded up and see how I like it. And then if I don't like it, then I can always go back to this, but we have to put um, some legs on this, lower legs. Uh, what was I going to say? So, do you guys like to make fun Halloween, fun and cute, or do you guys do scary? Because I have only made fun and cute.
Anybody? Fun and cute. Hey, Jerry. How are you, dear? Long time no see. Hope you and Lou are doing well. Fun and cute. I know. I like fun and cute, too. So when I go on the top, I try and spread them so that the legs are going with the green and the green is going with the legs on the bottom. You like both? Have you made anything scary? I don't even know if I could make something scary. I don't know if I have it in me to do that. Do you guys, you know, I mean, I just don't know. <laughs> I don't know if I could do it. Hey Tish, how are you? Hi Trish. It's Trish, not Tish. Trish, how are you? Oh, really? Yeah. Hey Chris, how are you? How is everybody today? For the people that just hopped on, if you wouldn't mind taking a moment and blessing my page, and that means by clicking the S-H-A-R-E button, I greatly appreciate it. It really helps grow my small business, and that is my goal, to keep growing my small business. Good. Farmer's Market was open. That's good. Hi, Michelle. Thanks for joining. Found it. Good deal, Chrissy. Thank you so much. Don't forget to go to your email and confirm no. your entry. Confirm your email. Otherwise, you're not entered in the drawing. Thank you, Darlene. Thanks for joining. I'm doing a King Sumo giveaway. Um, it's on my personal page because, you know, Facebook is the jealous boyfriend. They don't like you to um, promote YouTube. So um, it's under Teresa Wentler. And sign up there to uh, enter. I'm doing a giveaway of a witch. And um, so I'm giving away a witch that looks similar to this except it's, it's orange and black. And then I'm giving away some signs. So there's gonna be two winners. Teresa Wentler, W-E-N-T-L-E-R. I think I'm too bad. Sheena, oh, she's probably not bad. I think her mom. Let me go see if I can find her thing and I can pin her comment. Let's see if I can find it because she typed it out for me. Uh, right there. There, I'm gonna pin the comment. And it should show up at the bottom of the page then. Um, and that is my page. And it says exactly what you need to do. Everybody loves giveaways, right? So I'm having two winners. I'm getting ready to get out the winners from the 1,000 subscribers. So... Um, I just haven't felt well, so I haven't really felt like going to the post office. And we live in a small area. To do a pickup is more hassle than it's worth. So, <laughs> two Grim Reapers. Ooh. Wow. I 
I had somebody ask me to make an it. Yeah, I mean, I don't have that face thing, and by the time I could get somebody to make it, I mean, it was going to cost um, $65 to $75 for the wreath, and they didn't want to pay that. And I'm like, I have to get the sign, the face from someone else, you know, and then I don't have any of those supplies, so I had to go buy them. So, anyway, so they ended up not getting it, but maybe they found it from someone else. It's possible. So. Alrighty, so there we go with all the ribbon. This would be a good one for just a ribbon one too, right? Like do a funky bow or something in there. So um, we're going to sit this lady on here somewhere. And then I do have a sign. I don't know, what do you think? Oh, I guess it would help if I put it the right way. Hang on one second. Yes. Okay, good. Mom's still on alive. So, that's all right. That's all right. I just want to make sure you're okay. All right. Thank you, dear. Oh, honey. All right. Bye. So, well, he hit a pole when he was backing up. So... You need that witch hat. Well, I'm doing a I'm doing a giveaway for the orange one. So, all right. So, what do you think? Let me look at it. Sorry, I gotta turn it around and stand up. Ooh, I kind of like that big sign. What do you think? Yes. Hearts. So let's see about attaching the witch hat. Or the witch. I'm thinking we'll need at least two of those. Um, alrighty. Let's move this to the side for a minute and see what we got here. So let's, I'm looking underneath here at her so you can see how she is. So I'm debating on like, do I want to go through it? Do I want to go around it? If I go around it, I'm going to have to add some extensions to this. But I kind of think that might be better because I don't want this is feels kind of thin. This one up here is thinner than this up here is thinner than this, and I don't want it to pull through. So let's do this, and then let's twist it on there. So that'll be one, and then we will. Just poke it through. Her gown, her cape, her witch dress, who knows, whatever you want to call it. I wanted to see if I could get this through there like this without making a bigger hole. But I don't know if this pipe cleaner is going to cooperate. One more time and I'm just gonna make a hole. There we go. 
All right, so there's one. And then what will we do on the bottom? Same thing. Joanne, how are you? Hi, Kara. Finally caught a lie. Yeah? gonna go up above this because it's So I can say that when I first started making wreaths, I did not really think out of the box very much. So I'm learning to think out of the box more and more, which means like some things, you know, that you wouldn't normally think would be a wreath attachment could be a wreath attachment, right? So always just don't write something off. I always look at size. I don't want something too big or too small. Um, I find that the bigger wreaths for me are not good sellers. So um, a smaller thing like I could do, cause you know, smaller wreaths sell as well. So, um, come on you silly thing. Like it's right there, it just won't come through the rest of the way. I think I've got a string caught on there. Around the end. So it won't let my pipe cleaner go through. That's crazy. Oh my goodness. But I can also say thinking out of the box sometimes <laughs> causes you to um, have more difficulty in some areas just like this. <laughs> uh, things don't always go as planned, right? I'm about ready to just cut a little slit. I'm just afraid to cut it because then, because then, um, I don't want it to rip, you know. But let's try this. Let's just see if this will help, help us get it through there. Let's try the nifty difty tool here. I wonder if that will make, because I don't really want to pull that whole thing through there. Maybe that hole is just big enough that it'll work. There we go. And then I caught some more fabric. Let's see if I can get that off of there. Oh my goodness gracious! Well, I'm not going to keep you guys on here because clearly this thread is getting caught on the end of my pipe cleaner. 
the end. That was making me crazy. Maybe that'll help. There we go. Alright, gotta be smarter than the pipe cleaner. Thanks. Now that sign is from the Dollar Tree. And I did go outside this morning and I sprayed a little bit of clear coat on it. Um, and I let it dry. So. I lost where I poked a hole. in here so I have one of these they, they come in twos um, I need to get another pack but I have one of these stick stuck in my uh, mailing box because I attach my wreaths to the bottom of the box so it helps get the pipe cleaners through there as well so I'm gonna go ahead and because I'm not going to put anything else in these so I'm gonna go ahead and underneath the witch I'm going to snip those pipe cleaners and turn them down so I don't have to move her again it faded quickly I bet yeah that too and let's do this one here I tell you what I'm loving this ribbon loving it loving it loving it even the one that I got from old time pottery I like it I'm a liking it all right so let's see stick this down through here Where did my witch come from? I got it from Joann's last year when they had all their Halloween stuff on clearance. One thing I didn't realize about Joann's though, so like it was like buy one, get two free or whatever. Did you know that they, whoops, that they change like, where did I put that other one? So like I bought this and then I got two more of these, right? So they take this and then they, because this might have been a higher price thing, they take this and then they take something that's a lower price and they put that with it. And I'm like, oh no, I'll go through the line six times if I have to in order to do the right thing. That's not right. So be careful about Joann's because like even though they say you get some free, they still take the highest priced items and then they give you the free stuff on the lower stuff priced items. So I had the cashier tell me that. I'm like, what do you mean? So like if I got three of the same thing, I should get one free, one, one paid for and three free and that's not how they do it. I would pay for all three of those because they were higher priced than some of the other things that I got. I'm like, oh no, I'm not doing that. Not doing that. She is adorable. <laughs> so I have this one and then I have a orange one and then I have the silver one. I think I, I planned on giving the orange one in the giveaway. So that's my plan anyway. All right, here's this one. Hey Carol, how are you? I 
can't get my mesh to move around. Look at her gray hair. <laughs> She's the perfect witch, right? Thanks. Trying to drink my protein drink and be good. All right, so let's see. Where did my sign go? Did it fall off, fall off? I think we're gonna do the sign like this. I have been putting cable mounts on all of my signs. I don't know what's going on, but it seems like when I use staples on things, they still pull through. So I just don't want to run that risk. I don't know why, but either the staples are too long and they poke through, or um, they're still out of town, um, or I put stuff on there and then maybe it's just not deep enough and it doesn't grab. I don't know, but I'm just... I'm over the staple thing on my signs, to be honest. Just over it. Now, if you don't have to um, add things, maybe it might be better. I don't know. Thank you. I think it is, too. I think it turned out super cute. I was. This is what I stayed up all night hunting for the other night because I couldn't find them. <laughs> like, where would I have put those? Don't you hate whenever you pack stuff away and you can't find it? Like, I know I bought some really cute things last year. All right, so I sprayed that. It's dry. I was just smelling it. I could smell the stuff. Mm -hmm. And then, um, let's see, get, it's worth a little bit of extra for me in order for it to stay, so. But I also sprayed, um, these little things too. I didn't know if I wanted this sign's too small. The big sign's gonna be good. I didn't know how it was all gonna turn out. So these things are sprayed as well. Um, I have put these together. Um, I have like glued these together. So like I would do that. Wait, wait a minute. So um, and then put the feet down here. I have glued those and then held them and then I have attached this to add together on a sign as one piece or on a wreath as one piece. So, all right, so, um, like I said, we live in Illinois. Things don't have a tendency of, uh, we heat up really bad. And I tell you what, you know, I would feel bad if something came apart. So, so I just cut, I just used this little drill that my husband gave me. And I cut through, there's um, already some holes on these cable mounts. So I just stick my drill through there and drill a hole. Oh, sorry guys, it's from the drill. Yeah. One more time, let's see if it fixes. All right. And then I use E6000. <laughs> I know it. Uh, it wouldn't be alive if I didn't get lost. It just wouldn't. Happens every, almost every single live. Everyone. Even some of my recorded ones you'll see that I get lost.
So I take the um, sticky stuff off, the backing off. I take the E6000 and I just dab it over the holes and then I stick it on here. And then I will not be putting this on there until a little bit later because I want this to dry. So basically I have a fan down there on the floor and I'll lay this on the floor by the fan and then I'll put the sign on. If I'd had all my act together, um, I would have had this ready, you know, yesterday, but I didn't get my project together until last night, so. And then I was laying in bed this morning and I'm like, oh, it needs a sign. <laughs> what am I gonna use? So, oh, my hands are sticky. I got some of that on there. So anyway, so this is gonna dry. And then when it dries, we'll stick it on there. So maybe the next live we'll have that all done. Um, I may put some, um, what do you think about adding? Let's, let's see if we want to add, I think I, I like it the way it is actually, but let's just see. So this is deco tubing. Um, find the end somewhere. anywhere come on there it is okay hi Carol so if you haven't subscribed to my page, the bell icon at the top right, please click on that and that will subscribe you to Wreath Addiction RN. And um, I also have a King Sumo going for YouTube and that is on my personal page and that's the pinned comment at the bottom. So go there and sign up for YouTube. So let's just see if we even want to do this. I think it looks super cute the way it is. I don't want to add a bunch of stuff so that it's just overwhelmed and it takes away from the witch, you know. Um, I like the black. Um, sometimes you do this because you need, you need something. You need filler. You need something. So what do you think? Yay or nay? Hi Dawn. Tubing yes or tubing no? Can you see the tubing? Tubing yes or tubing no? I mean, it's going to be cute without that. So don't forget we're going to have our sign that's going to be going on here like so. Um, I don't know if it really needs tubing. Let me put it back. Let me move it to the spot where it's sitting correctly. Where the, where's the tubing at? So you can see it. Let's so we can hold it up. Do you like it? So let's stick it down here. So that when we hold up the wreath, we can like see it. wreath is going to be like so. Is it really going to add a whole lot? I, I kind of like it without. I think the tubing just pulls it away from, I want the, I want the biggest part of their direction to this part. It doesn't add much. Absolutely. I think so too. Thank you guys. Thank you. I, I think it adds something, but does it add enough? Does it add to what I want it to do? I don't know. I don't think so. So I agree, but how do we know unless we look at it, right? So 
And I like this mesh. This mesh is really cute. So I don't want to cover up more of it. So it is super cute, you know? So I'm going to put these two in this bag because I can see me using some green and orange in the future. I need some more baggies. I usually get them from like the Dollar Tree and I try and find like the big one gallon. Sometimes I do have to go to Walmart and I get the two gallon bags. Try not to stuff it in too tight because I don't want it to crinkle, but this is about the only way I thought excuse me, I found to take, um, to, to deal with tubing after it's open. I don't know about you guys. All right. Well, I think that ought to do it for right now, guys. Um, let me show you real quick what we're going to be working on. Uh, hopefully I'm going to go take something for my headache. So, um, I have everything ready for the bee. So the bee is going to be the black and white face that's on this rail here. Isn't this bee adorable? Oh my gosh, is it this adorable? Adorable, adorable. These are the ribbons we're going to be using for the bee. Super cute. And this is the mesh. On it. That's going to be, this is going to be the ruffles. So that's what we'll be working on hopefully later. Like I said, I'm going to go take something for my headache, maybe grab me a little bite to eat, and uh, go from there. So that's that one, and then we have, I'm just going to show you the flamingo. So here's my cute little flamingo lady, and she adorable. She's going to go on a wreath. I found her at Hobby Lobby, and I added some uh, wire stems into her legs so that we can do stuff with her legs. Cute, right? Super cute. I know, wouldn't that be adorable? The empty ribbon schools. Oh, that's a thought. The B sign is from, let me see if they put their name on the back of it. She has no name. What was her? Let me look through my receipts and uh, I'll let you know when we make it, okay? Or I'll post it in my group. But, um, I can't remember her name. Um, Wood Designs by Door, I think. Something like that. I think that's what it was. I don't think I have it filed yet. Let me look through here after I get some meds in my body for my headache, and I will let you know. So be watching for the live later, because we'll make the bee later. Whoops, you can't see my face. That's the only thing. I um, I want you guys to see the project, but uh, so I'm, gonna, I'm still working with the camera. So anyway, so uh, I'll see you guys later. Be watching. I'll try and give you like 20 minutes at least notice that I'm going to go um, go live. I got the witch last year from Joann's. They had buy one, get two. So I bought one and got two and I'm giving one away. This is the giveaway one for the YouTube King Sumo. This is the King Sumo giveaway. See this one? So this is the King Sumo giveaway. So we're giving this one away. Look at those boots, Woohoo! Got some sparkle going on there. Awesome. So, um, so take some time and enter in the King Sumo. Don't forget to go to your email and confirm your email address so that you're entered in the drawing, okay? So, um, you're welcome, Geneva, is that correct? Very nice name, I like that. Um, thanks, Linda. You guys have been awesome. So, uh, thank you for spreading the love and joining me this morning. I really have had and made my head feel better until just now whenever it starts to throb a little bit more. So it's time to go take some meds. I will see you this afternoon. Um, like I said, I'll try and give you at least 30 minutes notice, 20 to 30 minutes notice before I go on. Um, and then that way you can be prepared. So be watching for alert. All right, guys, I will see you then. Have a great morning. Bye.